I have learnt in whatever state I am, to be content. Philippians, chapter 4, verse 11. These words show us that contentment is not a natural propensity of man. How true is the saying, ill weeds grow apace, when applied to man, covetousness, discontent, and murmuring, are as natural to man as thorns and weeds are to the soil. We do not need to sow thistles and brambles, they come up naturally enough because they are native to earth and so we do not need to teach men to complain, they complain fast enough without any education. However, the precious things of the earth must be cultivated. If we want to have wheat, we must plow and sow. If we want flowers, there must be the garden and all the gardeners care. Now, contentment is one of the flowers of heaven and if we want to have it, it must be cultivated. It will not grow in us by nature, it is the new nature alone that can produce it. And even then, we must be especially careful and watchful that we maintain and cultivate the grace that God has sown in us. When Paul says, I have learnt to be content, it is as much as to say, he did not know how to be content at one time. It cost him some pains to attain the mystery of that great truth. No doubt, he sometimes thought he had learnt it, and then failed again. And when at last he had attained unto it and could say, I have learnt in whatever state I am, to be content, he was an old, grey-headed man, upon the borders of the grave, a poor prisoner, shut up in Nero's dungeon in Rome. We might well be willing to endure Paul's infirmities and share the cold dungeon with him, if we could also attain the same level of contentment that he had. Do not indulge the notion that you can be content without learning, or you can learn contentment without discipline. It is not a power that may be exercised naturally, but a discipline to be acquired gradually. We know this from experience. So, Christian, hush that murmur, as natural as it might be, and continue to be a diligent pupil in the College of Contentment. Amen.